Welcome to the ITU studio here at the World Ready Communication Conference 2023 WRC 23 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this afternoon by Arturo Robles Robalo, who is a commissioner for the Federal Institute of Telecommunications for Mexico. Arturo, great to see you in the studio. Thank you for joining us. Great to see you too again here. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, Mexico here uh, in the World Radio Communication Conference. It's obviously an important conference for you. It's an important conference for us. What's uh, Mexico hoping uh, will come from this conference? Well, obviously for us, it's very important. Uh, uh, precisely after the lockdown of the pandemic, we are uh, in Mexico, we are aware that the spectrum and radio communications, they are the only way to achieve our national goals, that one of it is to uh, give access to the internet to the whole population and the other one is to provide the new services everywhere to every time and we are hoping to do that with the new technology so that's why it's so important for the WRC precisely the 23 is also and we are very active participating here. What are the particular challenges uh, for, for, for Mexico in, in terms of uh, the, uh, the geographical spread of the population or is it now something else? Well, right now, uh, obviously, it, this is one of the of the goals that we we, we are taking in account. How to cover two two thousand million square kilometers uh, is not an easy easy task. But right now, we have new uh, technologies, and that's why this is important. We have hubs and hips in order to use IMT communications for coverage in in isolated places. But also, we have the new solutions of satellite uh, hybrid satellite solutions. We want that they start making a lot of of new services for the isolated population. And in terms of regulation, what what keeps you awake at night? Well, for us, right now, it's very important how we, we will manage these uh, hybrid networks between cellular and, uh, and also uh, satellite. We are developing some new uh, 5G networks and sub 5G applications. We need to figure out how to manage these new uh, applications as the vertical license, as the private uh, services. But also we are receiving these new technologies and this new, uh, new space that they are looking for the same orbits and the same frequencies, the low orbit uh, satellites and also the traditional geostationary satellites. So that's why it's so important to be here. We are sure that the, the ITU is the right place in order to take these decisions, how to manage the spectrum, how to manage the orbital resources. And also for us it's important, for example, one uh, specific issue that is the 6 gigahertz band, that not only the, the non-licensed applications as Wi-Fi, but also the AMT at the cellular networks, they are trying to, to provide services. And we, uh, as regulators, we have to be sure that all of them, all the industries, all the technologies, have the enough uh, spectrum in order to fulfill their requirements and obviously for the population. Now, obviously, this conference will have a lot of outcomes. Is there one key outcome that you're hoping will come from this? Well, we, we are looking uh, for HIPs. Uh, we are also looking for what will happen with eSIMs. Actually, we are hoping that in this conference we can decide what to do with the 6 gigahertz band, not only as a region, because there is a proposal as a region, there is a proposal in the national level, but also in the worldwide uh, arena, how we will manage with that. And if we can have an agreement considering which it will be the new IMT frequencies, that will be like the, one of the key goals if we finish with that kind of result here. Arturo Robles Rovala, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Great to see you again and look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Yeah, hopefully we will be here uh, soon or in another ITU event. Thank you so much. Indeed. Thank you. Indeed. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you must have, then please tune in to our YouTube channel or our podcast channel as well. And for further information, visit www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.